Hey guys, Shane Starnes with DroidMotorX.com. Today I'm going to be showing you guys the Portal app by In It To Win It apps. This is basically uh, the Halo project that's been open sourced. Uh, of course, many of you guys have heard of Halo from Paranoid Android about a month or so ago. They open sourced the Halo project and made it available for anybody to develop on that platform. In It To Win It is one of the first app companies that has actually put together a standalone application that provides the notification and multitasking capabilities that Halo was able to bring us on Paranoid Android. So one of the best parts of this application obviously is that you do get the Halo functionality without having to run the Paranoid Android ROM. Uh, so that is a plus in and of itself. You can run this on stock Android or you can run this on a custom ROM. So real quickly, I'll give you guys a demonstration of Portal in case you've never used Halo. Uh, basically what this does is it is a portal that brings you notifications whenever they pop up. It is built into the system, so any application that gives out a notification will show up in your portal. No matter what application you're in, you'll always see your notification. Uh, so let's say we're in XDA. We'll open up the application and my portal follows me everywhere I go. If it tends to get in the way, no problem. You can always scoot it around, move it around. If we click on the portal itself, it gives us several options. If we wanted to go to Twitter, we can uh, tweet out a message without having to open up the Twitter application and open up the message box. We can do it directly from portal, very quick and easy. Same thing with Facebook, and then you can go to do a quick Google search as well. If it ever gets in your way, you can always just totally remove Portal. And then to open it back up is real simple. Just open up the application and there it is. So we'll open up Portal real quick and we'll go into the settings. You can choose to hide and show applications. So it comes with built-in support for text messaging, Facebook, Twitter, and the browser. And when I say built-in support, I mean uh, it allows you to open up those applications to send out your own messages, but any application that includes notifications or that can send you a notification to your notification bar will absolutely send a notification to your portal application. <clears throat> now you can actually choose which call-out notifications you like, so if uh, you get notifications all day every day on Facebook you can totally disable your Facebook notifications in the portal application simply by scrolling down to the Facebook app and unchecking it. So that works with any application uh, on the Android system you can choose which ones you'd like to send notifications to portal and which ones you would like to totally ignore. So I sent myself a quick email just as a test and you see that it shows up here you just click on that and it'll open up the actual email application and then you can open up whatever the message is that you got. So here I just sent out an email to myself testing out Portal just so you guys can see kind of how that works. So it just gives you a little blurb and shows you like there it showed me that I had two emails available for viewing and then it does take you directly to that application it opens up the entire application so Portal is kind of a solution for multitasking and also it's a notification manager type application and it just brings a unique UI to that type of application. So like I said, over the past couple of weeks I've been using the beta version of Portal and I've really enjoyed it. Uh, the only problem that I thought may occur whenever I first started using this is that it might get in the way and I found that uh, that was not an issue at all because you can simply move it wherever on the screen you need it to be. So it's never really in the way. So anyways guys, I'll be sure to include a link in the description for the Portal application that was released yesterday and it's already pretty popular on the market. So you definitely want to check that out. You can find more of me at droidmoderx.com. We'll have the latest in Android and tech news. Follow me on Twitter at droidmoderx. Thanks guys for watching. Be blessed. I'll see you in the next one.